Now only on nine, a new twist in a new and new video tonight of a bizarre assault in West LA where a man throws a fire extinguisher at a woman hitting her in the back of the head. Well, it what happened right after the attack that's led to new questions tonight. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in West LA with a story you'll see only on nine. Joy. That's right, Ron. We are live right now on Pico, right where the attack took place. It happened on Saturday morning, but because of the story that we ran yesterday, we've been getting calls from nearby businesses who say, you know what, I've got video, I've got pictures. We want to help find this person. We are getting a new look at a brazen crime as a man on a scooter attacks a woman from behind with a fire extinguisher. I saw the news report on CBS News and I recognized that pink and green fence, which is right across the street from my business. So James Christ checked his security camera and found this. Not only the attack, but where the weapon went. Watch closely as the woman gets hit and a black van drives by. 70 seconds later, that same van appears again across the street. It stops and the driver picks up the fire extinguisher, takes a magnet off the back of his van and drives away with the weapon. Why would he take the weapon? I didn't know if he knew the guy on the scooter or, or what was going on. It's a question others in the area want an answer to as well. As nearby businesses found other shots of the van, the victim, who doesn't want to be identified, tells us that someone drove up in a black vehicle after the attack and told her she was hit with a fire extinguisher. But she can't recall if it was this van. Nonetheless, the driver is clearly a witness, and she'd like him to come forward, hand over the weapon, and help police police find her attacker, as many in this neighborhood are on edge. I walk here all the time, so it does make me feel nervous, but it really is nerve wracking to think that this could happen in broad daylight. But Chris isn't surprised at all. I've seen theft, I've seen graffiti, I've seen physical attacks like this one, um, all in this area that I grew up in, and it's a little frustrating when no accountability can ever be taken. He says crime is escalating in his neighborhood, and so is the homeless population. I'm pretty sure it was homeless. And as police are just starting to look for a suspect, this community wants not only answers, but their sense of security back. Very scary, and it's one of many things that have happened, and there's going to be more that happens in the following weeks and stuff. It's been going on for years now. No accountability. Certainly many in this community are very frustrated tonight and concerned. Now, as for that victim, I did speak with her on the phone. Again, she does not want to be identified, but she is thankfully recovering at home after suffering a concussion. One. That is good to hear. All right, Joy, thanks for that report. The hack attack.